In this video, I'm gonna teach you the five reasons why you're not getting hired. Hey, it's Kirk Duncan. It's time to talk about why you're not getting hired. What are you doing? What's going on with this? How come, why are you doing so many interviews and you're not getting hired? Something's wrong, something's not working, and you're starting to feel it. Like you're going out to these interviews and it's just not working. Coming home, have to explain it to your family of why you didn't get hired, and you call back, you call back, you call back, and they hired somebody else. What is going on? You thought you had the skills, you thought you had what it took to be able to get hired, but there's a glitch somewhere. And I bet you don't know why there's a glitch. You know, getting hired, there's quite the equation to make this whole process work, but I've got five reasons why you didn't get hired. And, and you gotta figure this out because how much longer can you go going to these interviews and not nailing the interview and getting hired? I mean, this is you, right? I mean, it's like, you gotta, you gotta, this is your income, this is your progress, this is you moving forward. But you're probably looking at the wrong things and, and you don't know what to look at. So let's, let's uncover this for you, what these five big reasons are. Now, as we get into this, of course, you know attitude's everything, but I don't think you may under, really understand the components of attitude. What really puts this together so that you're the one they pick? Because you only got this one shot. You know, the phone calls afterwards, the emails afterwards, that's not gonna close the deal. I mean, the moment the deal was really decided if it's you or somebody else, you probably had about five minutes inside that interview before they started making decisions if it was going to be you or not. So let's check this out. The way your mind is functioning is really affecting the way you're acting. So in this mindset, let's, let's discuss this for a moment. How do you see yourself walking into that interview? No, really, like how do you see it? If you close your eyes and you go inside your mind, can you see yourself walking into that room or walking, down, walking in the door, walking down the hall, then walking in that room for the interview? Can you see the whole picture happening? Can you pull away and be able to see yourself actually sitting in the chair while the person's sitting over here doing the interview? If you have not done the visualization of that whole entire interview, happening perfectly and them pointing at you and say, you know what, you're hired. And them shaking your hand and you got a big smile on your face. If you don't have that visual inside your head, no wonder you didn't get hired. How are you supposed to get hired when you can't even see it? Now, I, I gotta tell you this, I was at the gas station one day and I was filling up my vehicle with gas and this guy pulls up in a truck and, and he gets out and he's all upset about something. And You know, I look across the gas pump and I'm like, hey buddy, you okay? Because he's really upset. And he goes, I don't get this. He goes, it's the 25th interview with 25 different companies and I'm still not getting hired. And he was really upset, but I feel bad for him because he, he didn't know about what to do to get that interview. And I asked him, I said, what are you doing in the interview? And he goes, I keep telling him I have the skills for this and I keep telling him my years of experience. And he kept pushing on his interview what everybody else usually pushes. They usually push what they can do and all the skills that they have, but he's missing number one. I mean, seriously, you gotta get inside your head, walk yourself through the whole scenario, seeing what you're wearing, see how the people see you, see how the whole interview is gonna interact, how you're sitting, how you're talking, and you create the best inside movie of this interview you could ever create. Even though you don't know what the person's gonna look like, and you don't know what the interview room is gonna look like, and you don't know those things, you make it up. Those people who achieve great things in their life are people who can actually visualize it first, then they achieve it. Because how are you supposed to get something you can't even imagine? So mindset, that's one side. That's the visual part. Now on the conversation part, when you were driving to that interview, what was that conversation like? Was it, you know, man, I'm gonna get this job, they're gonna love me, I'm gonna love this company, this is gonna be a great team to work with. Are you pumping yourself up with the kind of conversation that's talking like it's already finished, like it's already done? Or did you walk out the door telling your family going, well, let's see how this turns out. Well, gotta go to another interview. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I guess I'll find out later. Why leave it up to chance? Mindset has two parts to it. It has the visual side and it has the story side. 
How are you seeing it inside your mind and how are you talking about it? Because mindset controls everything about you. And if your mindset is off, you're gonna be off in that interview. There's no way you're gonna get the job if your head's not in the game. But you gotta get your head in the game. Visualizing the whole entire interview. Driving there, being there, being with the person. Over here, you literally are literally talking to yourself the night before, the week before. Clear up to the moment before, clear up to walking in the door, clear up to sitting in the chair, waiting for your interview. You are working your brain. You have to work your mindset because nobody else is. And be cautious because we naturally as human beings think more negative thoughts than positive thoughts. And that, this right here is, could be the very number one reason why you're not getting your job. People hire for attitude. You, you could be missing half the skills, but because you got this amped up attitude that you really believe in yourself, you got high self-esteem, high self-confidence, man, you're gonna get picked. I, I'm a business owner. I've hired hundreds of people in my life and I could pick this, I got the person who's got all the skills, but just this weird attitude and energy about them. And I got a person who doesn't have the skills, but their attitude is amped, like they are just on it. Who did I pick? You can't train somebody on attitude. And attitude comes from mindset. Okay, next one. Your body language can get you fired. <laughs> your body language can also get you hired. But you gotta be able to present yourself in a way that looks confident. I mean, that shoulders back, chin up, smile on. You know, you sit well in the chair, you're not slumped over, you're not fidgety. You gotta really take a look at how you physically are being in front of those people because you may be you know, good as, as you're talking and explaining things, but they also look at your body language to, as a confirmation to your confidence. Every time somebody is questioning what you say, they look at your face and they look at your body language. It is the, it is the biggest secret on the planet it is confirmation comes from body language. And if your body language does not back up this mindset, you're, you're calling your own bluff. So what does that mean? That means you practice at home sitting in the chair and you ask your family, how does this look? How do I look? How do I look? You practice smiling. <laughs> Most people have more muscles in the frown zone than in the smile zone. So you naturally are gonna look like you're not happy. Most of the time when people ask, they ask you questions and you go into your head to think about the answer, watch this, watch this. Hmm, it looks like stinky face, but it's a thinking face, but it's a stinky face. And so what you gotta practice is how to smile while you're still thinking. Because most don't even look at that. And then when they ask you questions, you got a stinky face and you look like a mess. <laughs> and you're, you're not gonna get hired. Because it's like, wow, they sure lost their good attitude fast when I asked them a question. So check in with your body language. Practice sitting in the chair, practice standing. Look in the mirror, straighten yourself up. Really straighten, shoulders back, chin up, smile on, hands relaxed, no fidgety, and really practice that smile because it's gonna make a big difference. You know, you're not, you're not going to get hired with terrible body language and a messed up mindset. Next one, people. Okay, so how are you with people? Uh, you know, what, what are you like with people? How many new people did you meet in the last two weeks? Did you introduce yourself anywhere? Did you meet people? Because when you walk into the interview, you're going to meet somebody you don't know. And it's going to be awkward because you have not been out meeting new people. So here's the, before you go to your interview, you gotta meet like 10, 20 new people. Like really walk up, introduce yourself, shake their hand, practice smiling, practice getting to know them. Why wait until the interview to meet this person? You're gonna be so awkward. You're gonna be uncoordinated, awkward, nervous. So don't wait till the interview, go meet people. 10, 20 people, 20 people. You wanna really master this? 20 people. You wanna be like, eh, one or two people. But get out and meet new people. Practice interacting with people you don't know. Because you people skills are pretty low. You know, when someone goes out to look for a job, their, their people skills really are pretty low. And, and especially introducing themselves. I can't tell you how many awkward introductions I've seen in my life. I mean, it's like, do these people even go outside their house? Do they even talk to people? And, and most people are hiring people to do a people job where you're interacting with people or doing a skill that's interacting with people. So don't wait to get to the interview before you interact with people, go meet people today. That's probably why you didn't get hired. Okay, the next one, another big reason why you didn't get hired, what you gotta change is you gotta study the company. I was sitting in an interview one time and I asked the person, so what do you know about this company? And they said, um, actually nothing. <laughs> that's, 
like, why should I hire you? I have a website, I have a Facebook page. It's like, you don't know anything about us and you want me to pay you money to work here and you didn't even take time to do your homework? I mean, that is just a major, that's a bad move. Study the company, clear down to how it was founded, how was it created, how did it start, What's its, what are the products, what are the services, what are the names of the products, what are the names of the services, know all the other offices, know everything about them. Because if you get caught not knowing anything about the company, you are so done. You are so done. And it also builds major confidence. When you know about the company, you walk in there feeling like you already work there. Also, some of the, some of the websites for companies, you look it up and they have the pictures of the people that work there. Practice memorizing the names, practice memorizing the positions, the names of the positions, and all these different things. The more you know about them, the more they're gonna feel like you've already really studied enough to be able to work there. Okay, the last one. It's about them, not you. <laughs> if you're going into your interview going, you know what, I, and you want a job so you can have money, you're gonna be in the whole me, 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 me attitude. You're not gonna get hired. That is the last person I hire, is the person who's all, you know, I just really wanna work here because I really need some money because I really gotta pay my bills. It's like, I, I don't need you. But I really am interested in the person who says, you know, I wanna work here because I wanna help you with your mission and your cause. I really believe in what you're doing as a company. It's like, whoa. When they, when the person I'm interviewing is all about my mission and my cause as the company owner and president, okay, their name goes at the top of the list. So when you go there, if it's all, you need money, you need this, ah, you're, you're done, you're done. Why would they hire you? But be there about the company and notice what happens. Okay, there it is, simple, get it done and practice this before you get to the next interview. Stop the madness, get the job. Subscribe, you know you love this, great information and hey, I wanna send you more, so subscribe, ring the bell and you got more great training coming your way.